So yeah. Andrea uh, Mole, right? Not Mole. It's fine. Mole. No mole. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mole. I wasn't sure if it was Mole or like Mole. Mole. mole you know. That's a French origin name, so it's a, okay. Whatever okay. you want to pronounce, I'm I'm not gonna call microaggression on you, whatever. I don't want. <laughs> so this is this is what happened, uh, guys. Like we we met up on LinkedIn, and then uh, we got to talking, and we just hit it off like really well. Our conversation flowed so easily, and then with all the things that we were talking about, I was like, hey, we gotta gotta get on a podcast and do this, you know, because it's just it's just wasted content. So then I asked you to, uh, if you want, to, if you were interested in, you know, getting on like my podcast, uh, it's not really a podcast because it's only on YouTube that I post it, you know, but, and you said yes. So I'm, I'm really happy you said yes. And, uh, you know, I didn't even prepare for this podcast. Like you even told me, Hey, if you have any, um, you know, talking points or, or questions or and all that, send it to me beforehand if you want. And, uh, I didn't do it because the truth is I went snowboarding and I was really tired. <laughs> <laughs> But also, I, I was very confident that uh, our conversation is going to flow very easily. And uh, once we get into it, it's going to go, like, like I said, like all over the place. So, so Andrea, for all of you guys who um, uh, are listening, uh, is a, um, well, a martial artist, right? And you mm -hmm. like to describe yourself as a martial arts nerd. And you also teach uh, Aikido, uh, Aki Jiu-Jitsu, and Karate, and you did some Judo. Yeah, um, I'm all over the place that way. So uh, I started with judo. I was seven or something like that with my cousin. My cousin was pretty good at judo back in Italy. I'm, I'm originally from Italy. So, okay. you know, uh, uh, forgive me for my accent sometimes. Um, so I started off there when I was, I think it was 16 years old. Uh, my cousin wanted to, to experiment with Aikido, wanted to try Aikido. So I went with him. And I kind of got hooked into that. Uh, and then I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comment section. Oh, well, I can't do this or that. That's fine. I don't care. But uh, so I, I, I kept practicing it ever since. I'm 46. So we're, we're talking about 30 years of practice slash teaching. And along the way, I pick up other things. Uh, again, I'm a nerd. So I just wanted to explore different things. I was like, okay, striking. Oh, yeah, we don't really have striking in Aikido. There was a, you know, a karate instructor in the same place, in the same dojo. So I started working a little bit out with him. And then, you know, one thing from another. Then when I, you know, went to Japan, I lived in Japan for a few years. And I, you know, I tried some Shurinji Kenpo. I tried some Kenjutsu. I tried some, you know, a lot of other things. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't consider myself an Aikidoka. I like to think about myself as a martial artist and uh, of course you know there's things that I know more and there are things that I'm still trying to figure out but as long as my body holds I'll I'll practice 